Well, now, good morning. Oh, what a fabulous day it is out today, isn't it? I'm just, uh, here we are. It's the Vergetta. So it is a go, thank God. And uh, we're down, there. well, people are down at the lake, I'm sure, even though they're told not to. I'm sure there's areas where the people can stand and such. And and so anyway, here I am. I am working today. And I thought, you know what, I'll take some time off now and I'll go and I'm just here outside the house now. I'll just show you the house. Hold on. There it is. <laughs> yeah, there's the neighbors. There you go. Nice, isn't it? Yeah. Not my house, <laughs> but someone's house. You know, and I thought, I, I actually, hang on, I'll show you this one too. But one second, I'll bear with. Yeah. I thought, my God, you know, these people must have really paid attention in school, didn't they? To do so well. My God, it's marvelous to see such uh, opulence and grandeur here just in the uh, west end of St. John's here next to St. Luke's Homes. Because you see, I am, as I say, I'm working today. And uh, today is, uh, listen to me. When I tell you I am a great aunt, and today is my great niece's birthday, uh, it is. Yes, I'm great aunt, 52. <laughs> yeah, I have a marvelous skin regime. Uh, but anyway, my but now my great niece Paris, she's only six or eight or ten or something. I don't know how old she is. She's not allowed to drink anyway, not yet. Uh, so happy birthday to Paris. And my mom's birthday was this week as well god rest her uh it was on august 2nd and and so you know with with that always comes a lot of sort of memory and and uh thoughts of mom and and you know last week i was telling you about the prime rib and you know i as i told you i grew up on a farm uh you should know you're paying attention. And so when I grew up on the farm, we were we were very blessed. We had, um, you know, we had always fresh food, you know, fresh chicken and fresh beef and pork and such. And anyway, you know, I went home to mom one day and and we didn't think it was that much of a treat back then. And I said, you know, mom, what, what are we having for um uh, for dinner and and she said darling we're going to have prime rib I suppose I was probably 10 and she said why and I said prime rib she said yeah yeah why what'd you want well she I said you know I thought we could have something nice she said like what and I said well Aunt Georgie's having crap dinner she said yes 39 cents a box I dare say she is Anyway, mom, mom didn't appreciate the the uh, craft dinner comment, but I always was a big fan of craft dinner. Are you as well? Is the question. I loved it. Now, and mom would make her own version of craft dinner, and that would be macaroni and cheese. You know, she was a very beautiful cook. But I mean, even today, craft dinner is a treat. Uh, you know, and when I don't know, perhaps it was 2012 or whatever uh some sometime back when uh you know mom mom was alive and, and we were just i had just gotten home from work mom said darling what will i make you i'll make you something and i said no mom you know what i think i'm gonna have some craft dinner do you think we have any she said oh god yes there's craft dinner up there so i took it down and i started in and i started to make it and you know when i finished it was a little bit brown was an orange as it should be and I said mom I said how old is this craft dinner she said I don't know darling can't be that old I said where's the box anyway I took out the box and the craft dinner was four years old <laughs> so anyway I had thrown it out mom god bless her then she made me a sandwich and uh, I might have been a bit spoiled I don't know you know, and really now prime rib is a great treat when you size it up. You'd almost need to own an abattoir now in order to afford a steak. But that's a separate point. We don't need to get into to the cost of inflation and such today. So now I will tell you um, 
we've chosen a winner for the two tickets to Terra Nova, uh, to the show an evening with Sheila Williams all by myself. I'm trying to decide whether I'm going to sing all by myself, don't want to be. But it's a very sad sort of song, isn't it? I thought, okay. Sing that. But anyway, I have chosen a winner and I put it in a little sort of spinny thing, you know, so uh, thank you very much to those people who shared the video last week and watched and God bless you. My God, we got a great little group going, you know, I'll tell you the truth. I was sizing it up last week and I was thinking, you know, we're very, we're very blessed, although it does kind of press on, doesn't it? I mean, here we are now, it is August 6th and summer's pressing on and you know it is nice to have a little holiday and so tomorrow or tomorrow I beg your pardon uh, Monday Monday I'm going to visit my sister in Halifax and so I'm looking forward so next week I will come to you live from Halifax so yes aren't I the world traveler it is in the bubble and all that certainly we're open to the world now and I am doubly vaccinated so I, I feel very confident going to Halifax uh, with my masks on uh, but anyway so that'll be next week because you know it does uh, life does press down sometimes doesn't it and I feel very blessed because you know here we are we we see each other every week you write down your little comments down into the in the comments section and you keep in contact with me and this is the has been the most beautiful source of of joy for many people and for me as well so thank you for that see you're a marvelous little crowd uh marie kylie's going around signing autographs because she came up with the idea but anyway so now okay let me see what else have i got to tell you Oh, you know what? Here's what I was going to tell you. So, uh, yes, I was saying about mom and spoiling me. But here's something that mom had a fabulous talent for, and that was making people feel special. And this is my call to all of us this week. So, you know, it's, and, and I'll tell you, it, it was it was inherent for mom. You know, for an example, if I if she saw me coming around the pond, and uh, on my way home from work, and she was on our way out, she would turn the car around, come back to see me and spend some time with me before I went back out to work. You see, little things to make people feel special. And so my thought is this week, here's a call to all of us to make those people around you feel special. You know, like if you're on the phone and call waiting happens to, to you click in, you know, and someone else chimes in, don't answer it, you know, and, and let the person know, you know what, no, that's so-and-so calling, unless it's the hospital calling, telling them, telling you that they got a kidney for you or whatever, you know, if you're waiting on a transplant list, you know, that might be more important. Uh, I think I might be watching too much Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> now I'm just getting away from me. But anyway, you know, make those people around you feel special and it's very simple you don't need to buy flowers you know you just need to pay attention that's all you need to do and mom was tremendous at it and so that's a call to all of us this week to, to try and do that now I have to crack on because you know what my sister told me she <laughs> she said my sister Kelly uh, not Jody not the nice one Kelly said, uh, Sheila, it's like listening to dad now. She said, you're going on and on. People are going to be bored to death. And I said, yeah, well, I'll make it quicker next week. <laughs> so anyway, all right. The winner. Now, oh, listen, that's right. Uh, also this week, someone wrote me a message and said, Sheila, I'm not able to get to the show, but I want to buy two tickets and I want you to give them away. So we're going to do it again this week. And, and that person has already paid for the tickets. I've already got the reservation down as a giveaway. And so next week I'm going to uh, choose those uh, choose those people uh, who choose that person rather who's going to win two tickets so that's very generous tickets are $65 each so you know thank you to uh, that person who's donated those tickets uh, and when uh, the person wins next week I'll tell you who donated them so that you can thank him directly 
Uh, okay, so the winner, I put it in, I put all the names in a little thing and, and uh, they, it spun around and I have a video of that actually, I'm, I might post that after. Wanda Summerton. Wanda, God bless you, darling. Thank you so much. Wanda, in fact, uh, shared it several times to various groups as well. So very clever of you. Uh, Wanda, you won the two tickets to Terra Nova uh, on Wednesday, August 18th, all by myself. I can't wait. All by myself and you. Uh, and a few more, too, because tickets are going very well. Uh, thank God. So anyway, all right. So as Kelly said, honey, you don't know when to come off. She said, you know, sum it up. So I will. Years ago, my God, here's dad again. Uh, years ago, I was taking a train ride from uh, Cam, uh, uh, no, Edmonton to Kamloops. And I was going through the Rockies and it was so pretty and so beautiful and anyway on my trip through the rockies as it happened there was a rabbi and a priest <laughs> so fortunate they were just sat next to me you know and i was able to listen to it all unfold and i saw them making their introductions and such and uh so hang on wait one second god love him he got a job to do too Anyway, so I saw them making their introductions, and they started talking after a while, you know. It was a little tiny bit stilted uh, at first, and, and they were reading the paper, and finally the priest put down the paper and looked up at the rabbi and said, you know, rabbi, he said, beautiful day for a train ride. Oh, yes, he said, beautiful. He said, so pretty. He said, going through the Rockies. Oh, yeah, he says, very, very lovely indeed. He said, you know, Rabbi, he said, I do know a little bit about your religion. He said, oh, do you? He said, oh, yes. For example, I know that in your religion you abstain from pork. But he said, I was wondering, you know, have you ever even tasted pork? And the rabbi said, in my lifetime, I've tasted pork. He said, it was very nice, wasn't it? Oh, yes, he said, it's lovely. He said, you know, pork, bacon, sausages, bologna. Well, not really bologna, but you know what? And he said, yes, it was very nice. And they went back to reading the paper. And then the rabbi looked up at the priest and he said, you know, Father, he said, I know a bit about your religion as well. He said, do you? Yes, yes, he said. For example, I know that in your religion, you've taken a vow of celibacy. I was just wondering, the priest put up his hand. He said, there's no need to go any further. He said, I admit that in my lifetime, I've succumbed to the temptation once and twice. And I said, yes, I see. They went back to reading their paper, and a little while later, the rabbi looked up. He said, it's a bit better than pork, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, how lucky I was to catch that on the train out there in, in the West Coast. So listen, God love you. Thank you very much. My God, you're a marvelous crowd. Uh, Wanda Summerton, congratulations. Look at this. Now, I'm just noticing, you know, the, the world is a target, isn't it, for the birds? I mean, can you imagine this? Anyway, that's a separate point. So, Wanda Summerton, congratulations. I'll give you one more. Uh, oh, Becca just told me I had a lovely new haircut. Thank you, darling, for noticing. It's uh, shining like a shilling today. I was looking tired and old and haggard yesterday, but not now. Anyway, here's the neighborhood. I'll just show you. Yeah, it's not my neighborhood. I don't know who owns it, but anyway, whoever was, whoever they are, they're smart. Uh, so God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Oh, and listen to me. Again, those people who um, share the video, I will make another draw next week from that generous donator who bought two tickets because he's not able to go and he's given them away. So um, share it. You know how to share it now. And, uh, you know, someone stopped me the other day at Costco and said, Sheila, you got to be over 55 to share that, do you? I said, no, never did I say you must be over 55. No, anyone at all can share and you'll all go into the draw is the point. You don't have to be over 55. I just thought that my crowd are usually a bit older because the young people don't like me. That's all there is to it. But anyway, God love you. Have a wonderful day. Thanks so much for watching. Enjoy the regatta and love to you.